Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the wonderful land of the Netherlands, where we're number one in score. But I don't really feel number one when it comes to, like, military. We do have a pretty good army. And a ton of manpower. But uh, we wouldn't really hold a light up to, like, France. If we had to go to war with France, that wouldn't end very well. At least I don't think so. We do have Russia as our ally. Castile rivaled us and, un and broke our alliance. That's unfortunate. Hansa wants an alliance... Yeah, after we peace out, we might be able to ally the Hansa. Brandenburg? Not really. Uh, I'm going to have to keep getting relations up all over the board and see if I can get alliances with strong people to help me against France. Because I kind of feel like our alliance with France is, is just hanging by a fucking thread, you know? It is not going to last. I don't know what's going to make it do any better than it currently is. It could just be um, waiting for the right moment for a nation to not consider someone else a great power or something. That way you won't have the negative 50 for each great power ally that you have. You know, things like that. It, it's just hard to tell whether or not we're going to be able to uh, get what we want done, done. Really hard to tell. However, in the meantime, my voice keeps breaking. And we are going to push Adal out of this war so we can peace out with Melindy. We have sieged up Melindy 100%, but we can't actually peace out because Adal doesn't want peace yet. Well, let me check. I just killed his army. Maybe he wants peace. No, he doesn't want peace. He's like, oh, you squished my army. It's just a fucking flesh wound. It's like, yeah, whatever. Whatever, Adal. Whatever. Meantime, we're trying to block off all of Canada by uh, getting colonies down. To if I can finish these two colonies here before France, f before France gets there, then we'll have pretty much all of North America uh, to ourselves because it looks like we're about to cut off Portugal and Castile right here. Uh, England can't get through here. However, Castile is probably already on the Pacific coast. Considering he's had cores down here for a long time, he's probably already on the Pacific coast. I completely forgot to recruit... I completely forgot to... Oh, I need a fabricator. I completely forgot to recruit um, an explorer and a trade ship over here to uh, go explore the coast. I just just slipped my fucking mind. So, ideally, we would, I don't know, try to compete. But it looks like we've lost the west coast of the USA, unfortunately. It really sucks. Because that's where I live, you know? Alright, anyway. Keep on building. Spend those military... We're, we're so far ahead of military tech. we got to keep spending these military points. Just got to. And now we're broke. But it's a good way to spend 900 ducats, I guess. There goes Arkansas. Sorry, Arkansas. Did that help? It's Arkansas. Not your Kansas, Arkansas. And there goes Kato. Well, this will complete our mission to eat Osage. Cool. He won't. 99% he won't peace out. We have a full siege, he won't peace out. I don't know, that's bullshit. I don't like that mechanic. Does anyone else like that mechanic where you're at 99% with a two province miner, you full siege him up? It won't let you peace out. Why not? Why the hell can we not peace? I don't know. It's silly. It is just silly. Anyway, uh, we've blocked off France over here, which is perfect. So France will get a colonial nation in uh, Eastern America, but that's it. He's not going to get anything else. And that's perfect. I like it that way. You ready for peace, Adal? Come on, I'm sieging your land now. Nope, he still doesn't want peace. All right, I'm going to go to your capital and just fuck you up, okay? Because you're a douche. You're a fucking douche, Adal. <clears throat> We're currently fabricating on Pasai so that we can go take some of his land. He's too big to annex because he's worth 100. Oh, 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 oh. His size has shrunk from 102 to just 100, so we can full annex him now. Okay, well, that changes things. That really, really changes things. Uh, Bengal's eating Tibet. Our colonist is going to arrive here in Manila in 122 days. Yeah, it takes a long time to colonize Manila. Hey, we converted Mokambique. Nice. What's next on the conversion tree? That's oh, going to be Pahang. Sweet. 
convert all of the things. <laughs> all of the things shall be converted. And yeah, we need to get the entire coast here to block off Castile or whatever from fucking up with us. We really don't want people to fuck around with us in Australia. That's our shit, man. And yeah, we have claims over here that we need to use. When do these expire? Oh, we have 15 years left. That's fine. Are you off the boat? Yeah, you're off the boat. Okay, come on over to here so we can pick you guys up. And let's go eat uh, all those Indonesian guys that need to die. Sound good? Sound good. Hey, still can't piece you out. I don't know why, but it's bullshit and I still can't piece you out. Wish I could. I really wish I could. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. This colony is almost done. When this colony finishes, we're going to need a name for Colonial uh, Canada. We need a name for Colonial Canada. What do you guys think we should use for Colonial Canada? And yeah, what do I want my diplomat to do? Can we ally Milan? Uh, maybe. We've already maxed relations, though, so it doesn't seem very likely. Oh, Ulm would be good, but he doesn't want to. I still think we can. If we get a marriage, if we get a marriage, we can still do Ulm. Ulm would be nice because he's got 9, 14, 18 base tax. Ulm would be great. Call it New Friesland. Nah. It's nothing like Friesland. Doesn't even look like Friesland. Maybe we call it Iceland. Beaver Tail Land, New Amsterdam. I think we already have a New Amsterdam. Pretty sure Belgium owns New Amsterdam. Am I right? Yeah, see, Belgium owns New Amsterdam. Call it not America, call it sub zero. West Frisia instead of East Frisia. Eh. You can get more creative than that. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, it's just one year. One year of less trade. I'm okay with that. We got lots of money. Well, we have some money. When can I peace you guys out? You still don't want peace, do you? It's so stupid. Yay, colony arrived, Manila. Cool. <clears throat> okay, we got our CB on Pasai. Oh, and we got a free merchant. This is for... Is this for the Philippines? This must be for the Philippines, am I right? No. What's this free merchant for? Is it for Malacca? No. Oh, is it for Zanzibar? It could be for Zanzibar. Okay, it's Zanzibar. We just got a free merchant for Zanzibar. Because <laughs> we have more than 50% of the trade there. Um, I'm probably just going to trade in Zanzibar, really. Unless we don't need to push. Actually, we probably don't need to. It's just automatically pushing. Uh, we, should, we should send some more ships to the Ivory Coast to make sure the trade comes up to the uh, English Channel. Because once we get the English Channel, we're good. Although, France is stealing some of our ducats there. It's unfortunate. <clears throat> Can I afford more trade fleets? Am I over my limit? I'm not over the limit. Alright, give me some more trade fleets. Give me like 50 more trade ships. Or 20, because that's all I can afford. Well, that works too. Here, you go to Ivory Coast. 
And yeah, this I don't know what to do with this merchant. I have so many merchants. So very, very many merchants. Hmm. I don't see any really good places to put our merchant. Could try to steal from Brazil a little bit, but I don't think we have any strength there. Not really. Let's try stealing from Brazil. You want to conce concede defeat? I don't think so. No, you can't concede defeat. That's some fucking shit right there. Concede defeat. My ass. How's your uh, pretender rebels doing, man? Oh, it looks like they're having fun. Just accept their demands. Come on. Don't worry about it. What's the worst that could happen? You just change governments. Whatever. It really doesn't matter. He's freaking out, though. Go explore these areas and down here, and then come to Tuskegee. Oh, Russia is at war with the Commonwealth. Whoa, I gotta see this. Holy shit. Oh, he's in three different wars. The Ottomans, Russia, oh my god, are you kidding me? You're dead. You're fucking dead. Oh, Commonwealth, you poor bastard. My voice is cracking, yeah, I know. Oh, we can tech up, cool. University coming up. Cheaper tech for the rest of the game. That's really nice. Gotta save up a thousand ducats for that, though. Hey, we finished Eora. Nice. <laughs> cool. No gold down there yet, but there is possibilities of gold. We've just been a little unlucky. All right, our diplomat is home. Uh, let's go ahead and peace out a doll. Come on, you want peace, right? No, of course he doesn't fucking want peace. You think this is a joke? Why would I want peace? Peace is for pussies. I can't peace out anyone right now. I cannot peace out anyone. Apparently, peace is for pussies. Alright, I don't need to leave the colonists there, do I? Uh, not really. Okay. Uh, let's go to Australia. Well... I think I'm going to go to Bengkulu. I'm just going to get four troops so we can protect it. If I can remember to protect it, that would help. I'm probably not going to remember. And I can't believe I can't piece anyone out. This is just getting silly. Not a single soul wants peace. It's very awkward. Okay, now do you want peace, Adal? No, he still won't peace out. I killed his army. Oh, this is getting stupid. 
He still won't peace out. Come on, man. Don't be that way. Alright, well, in the meantime, I got shit to do. Like, specifically, I need to go eat these idiots over here. They have no allies, right? They have no allies. So I'm gonna go eat them. See if we can't annex all this shit. Uh, it's a lot of base tax. Let's see. Four, no, 13. 16 base tax. But I think we can, I still think we can do it. I think it's possible. Easier said than done, but I think it's possible. You want to see the Commonwealth's war map? Yeah. There you go. That's the Commonwealth War. That is not going to end well. Oh my god, I still can't peace out. Fucking retarded. Rebels, man, am I glad I just sailed my army away. Oh my god, you still don't want peace, you stubborn fucker. At least we finished some of our manpower buildings. I should really get Alabama and Pensacola just to uh, increase the conflict between Portugal and us. Hey, Piscatang. Good. Let's see if we can get right next door. Looks like we can. Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, Nova Hollandia. That's actually not a bad name. Or do I not have any colonists available? I... Okay, you can be yanked out of there. Alright, so what do we call it? I don't think Nova Hollandia is a good name at all. The Shenra Bay Company? Dutch Vikings? Call it Quebec? Nah. Common Blob? North... North Lumberland. That's not bad. North Lumberland. If you know, uh, the USA gets most of its wood imports from Canada. North Lumberland. I like that. Aachen. Secret Dutchlands. <laughs> uh, Bacon Land. Tree Huggers. Cannabis Land. Cushada. Eland Land. Chertopia. <laughs> American Russia, Beaver Republic, Dick in a Box, Quill's House. We've already done Quill's House. King Shadow, I can tell how long you've been watching my streams because you still have the exact... That's the same way you spelled Quill's House, too. New Not America, Newer Amsterdam. <laughs> Instead of New Amsterdam, call it Newer Amsterdam. Free Healthcare Land, Deep Fries Land, Cold Netherlands. Ice Ice Baby, Freeze Land. <laughs> so many names. Yeah, Freeze Land I think is pretty good. Let's do Freeze Land. If I could type. Welcome to Freeze Land. And immediately Freeze Land is improving relations with us. Well, of course they are. Alright, 
right, well, there's 100% in that war. Let's see if that's enough to peace out. It may be, it may not be. I honestly don't know. And France is finally going to get his colonial nation here. Thank goodness. It took you long enough, France. It took you fucking long enough. All right, can we now peace out? Oh my god, we can finally peace out. And we finished our mission that was from, you know, 70 million years ago or whatever. Next mission, claim the tall. Yeah. I will do that for some free military points. Yeah. And the tall is this one. Castile's not even done with the colony yet. And I already have a mission to claim it. As a Canadian, you support the name Friesland as it is fucking cold. Well, you're not wrong. Back over 100 relations with France. This is good. Uh, Burgundy is not killing his rebels. That's bad. Burgundy, go kill your rebels, dude. There you go. <clears throat> the Karoo Massacre. Local unrest goes up or piss off the net. Piss off the Portuguese. I don't care about the Portuguese. Go ahead and piss them off. Fuck if I care, man. So these cores are going to take how long? Three years to core. Man, that's a long time. All right. And for some reason, I can increase the autonomy here, but I can't increase the autonomy here. I don't know why. But it means the revolt risk in Arkansas is zero now. Very strange. You still have all these pretender rebels. That looks like fun. Holy shit, there's like... A, there's almost 100,000 of them, aren't there? Wow. I wonder why they can't... Why can't these guys succeed? How come these rebels are not succeeding? I don't understand. I do not understand those those pretender rebels. They have the country like 80% sieged. And they just they just won't they just won't peace out. Or they won't uh, get their demands met. Alright, so this is all gonna go to Belgium. Yay, Belgium has grown. God, Belgium big. Belgium strunk. I think I'll leave this army maybe in Chara. Try to keep the um, rebels under wraps, if possible. We can always pick them up and haul our troops somewhere else, but for now they're on rebel suppression duty. You said duty. Alright, let's see if we can peace out here. This is getting a little silly. Oh my god, I can finally peace out. Now we have to go peace out Malindi before those rebels win. Uh, we're overextended by 24. Hopefully, this is probably going to be more than... Hopefully it's less than 76. If it's less than 76, then we can peace out right now. Otherwise, we're going to have to wait for those cores to finish. Which is going to be two and a half years, apparently. Darn. Okay, we've arrived. And we need to eat these guys. This needs to happen. Yeah, this needs to happen. Well, let's see how much overextension it is for this shit first. Um, Melindy has finished their westernization. Is that going to matter? I'm not sure if that matters. Please be less than 76 OE. It is exactly 76 OE, which will put me at 100% overextension, which is probably fine. Let's do it. Yep, 100 OE. Which 
which means we can't um, we can't annex anyone else until we finish some cores. It's unfortunate, but then's the breaks. And our revolt risk is going to be a little bit high now. Yeah, we have plus five revolt risk because of our hundred percent overextension. That's pretty severe revolt risk. Pretty severe indeed. So for now, why don't we just dock up in Flores while I think about this. Um, hmm. Because Makassar alone is going to be four base tax, or four, four percent overextension for each base tax. So 32 overextension just for this province. That's a lot. What the hell? Are you kidding me? You're not even kidding me, are you? Apparently those rebels did something. Oh no, not bomb book. Oh my god, he lost he lost one of his gold provinces, you stupid vassal. Pretender rebels are not supposed to make the nation collapse, they're just supposed to change who's in power. God damn it, what the fuck is wrong with this? That's not supposed to happen. That is not supposed to happen. I'm not going to sit around and wait. We're going to get shit done. It looks like we're going to have to declare on Fulo as well. Which should be okay, really. I wish Molly had an army of his own to deal with this shit, but whatever. Found some spices. Ooh, nice. Alright, Jenny's in the war. Austria will cede Lienz to Milan. Austria pay 20 ducats. Oh my god, Milan is just... Whoa, look at the Pope! Look at the Pope! Oh my god, the Pope. And Milan. Oh my god, Milan. Milan is strunk. Go away, Bavaria. I'm just pretending that little pop-up's not there. <clears throat> oh wow, Wurzburg grew again. Now he's too big to vassalize. Holy shit, Wurzburg. At least Ulm is still the right size to vassalize. Just barely, but still. No rebels in Belgium yet, that's good. And I think we have effectively blocked Portugal off. Assuming we can get this colony here, that'll block and eat these guys. Assuming we eat Chickasaw and, and get Yazoo, then that'll block Portugal off as well, which is great. And we have our thousand ducats, we just need our admin points now. We might want to refocus admin. But we can't do that for another 16 years. Man, if only we had a leader who was actually good at admin points, but nope, no dice.
Steele's having a ball with this colony over here in fucking Madagascar. Uh, from there, he's going to be able to really be a douche. He's probably going to be all over the Philippines and Indonesia. We're going to miss out on some opportunities here, unfortunately. I still think we need to push forward. It's just we got to wait for some cores to finish, that's all. Okay, 20 more trade ships. Loop back, please. Oh, the reason why Lubeck is a problem is because we're losing 100% of our trade strength here due to overextension. I forgot about that. Overextension lowers your income massively. Okay, finished our claim on Castile. Next mission. These are pretty shit missions, I gotta admit. Lost a claim on Sierra Leone. Don't care. Yep, see a pilot. Have a good night. Portugal and Britain are white pieced. Aw, but that was Brazil versus Brazil. Oh, Portugal, I'm sorry, Britain and, Britain and Castile are still at war, but Portugal has peaced out. Okay, fair enough. Let's see, can we peace out with Fulo yet? Oh, I need to keep fabricating claims, of course. But can we peace out for, for Fulo yet? I want this to go to my colony, of course. Or to my vassal, I mean. Nope, it won't peace out. Okay. All in due time. All in due time. So can I fabricate up a Manus? Because I need to eat his lands. I would like to eat his lands. I don't have to eat his lands, but I would like to... Oh, Britain has Britain has taken the mission for India. Look at that. Uh, yeah, I would like to eat Bamanis' lands. There's a lot of good land here. I want Tanjore. Maybe I should just go for Madurai first. In fact... I probably should. Let me go for Madurai first, and then we'll go for Tandore next. And over here we need to, let's see, we've already claimed you. Yes, you and you. We've already claimed all this shit. Why don't we claim, why don't we claim Lamuri, Delhi, Siak, let's claim Siak. It's a nice province. I mean, coring all this shit's gonna be expensive anyway. We might as well claim a lot of it too. And unfortunately, you get to hear the wonderful serenade of loud upstairs neighbor plumbing. It's actually not as loud as it has been in the past. Ah, oh, man. These rebels are gonna be real. Britain will end the vassalization of Munster and release Northumberland as a sovereign state. Spain has beaten Britain, everyone. Spain has beaten Britain. This just in. Spain has beaten Britain. Siege him up. Oh shit, rebels. Kill the rebels. Transylvania, we accept the peace with the Ottomans. War operation. <coughs> Seed Slavonia. Become a vassal. Shit, the Ottomans just vassalized Transylvania. Damn.
All right, we should be able to piece. We should be able to piece out you guys, right? Here, wait until um, wait until we're done with Ulam. So two months. We'll try to piece out Jenny. If that doesn't work, then we'll just wait a little bit. Naval supplies must be gone. All right, fine by me. No rebels in Belgium yet. That's surprising. You would have thought Belgium would have a lot of rebels by now, but no, there's been none. Who is this? Jenny wants peace. Concede defeat. Yes. Good. Good, good, good. Get those troops home. And next month we'll come back from Ulm. We should be able to um, peace out of both these wars, I think. I hope so. Okay, come on home. Now that's unfortunate. We couldn't give... Uh, when a nation gets spat out like that, you can't just get everything back with no aggressive expansion. You should be able to, but you can't. Even though you have cores on all of it, you still can't get it all back without uh, taking aggressive expansion. So either we full annexed and took a bunch of aggressive expansion, or we don't full annex and we can only take half of it. It's frustrating, because we're already spending Diplo points. So why not just... Oh, you won't peace out? Are you kidding me? Well, you're close. You're close to piecing out. Uh, maybe go top off France. Nah, he's pretty good. Um, Milan. Yeah, Milan will ally. Hansa. Hansa will ally. Yeah, okay. So after this war, we can get alliances with Milan and the Hansa. Just in case shit goes tits up with France. And we should be able to peacefully vassalize Ulm right now. Yeah. Cool. It's 18 base tax right there. And when can we next Switzerland? Uh, five more years. Okay. Oh god. Commonwealth, you're getting wrecked. Sweden, you're getting wrecked. Okay, core's are about halfway done. It's about time to go to war again. Because it'll take some time to siege stuff down. But I think we'll wait until we have our CBs done. Just so we don't have to rip a diplomat out of the Hansa. It should be okay. Although I think I can put you at the coast. Yeah, we should be okay. Oh, and I can fabricate on the gold province over here now. Nice. No, Ulm, what the fuck? Bavaria started a war against Ulm. No. Actually, I think Ulm can win that war. Well, that's just bad timing right there. That's 18 base tax. We're not going to be able to vassalize now because he's at war. Damn it. All right, well, why don't we call this an, an episode here? It's been 40 minutes. Sorry for the long episode there. I've been Shen. You've been you. Come back next time. We're going to get this province for our vassal, Mali. And uh, we should be able to block off Portugal and Castile here in North America, at least on the, the east side of North America. But we're going to have to make a mad dash to the west coast and see if we can block them off on the west side as well. That's going to be tough. But we'll do our best. Anyway, that'll have to be next time. So I'll see you then. Have a good day.